So, Act 2, Scene 3 is an incredibly short scene. You can see the entire scene here on the screen. And it takes place in a room in Shylock's house with Jessica and Launcelot. And we've just seen that Launcelot is leaving Shylock's employment, going to work for Bassanio. And Jessica is Shylock's daughter. So Jessica says, I am sorry thou wilt leave my father so. Our house is hell, and thou, a merry devil, didst rob it of some taste of tediousness. But fare thee well, there is a ducat for thee. And, Launcelot, soon at supper shall thou see Lorenzo, who is thy new master's guest. Give him this letter, do it secretly, and do, and so farewell. I would not have my father see me in talk with thee. So, what's going on here? Well, she's saying, look, I'm sorry that you're leaving my father like this. Our house is like hell, and you, funny devil, alleviated the monotony. But goodbye, here's a gold coin for you. And um, Launcelot, soon at supper you're going to see Lorenzo, your new master's guest. Give him this letter secretly. And so goodbye, I don't want my father to see me talking to you. So, you know, a couple of things established here. We, throughout the play, we battle with this, um, you know, debate of is Shylock the evil villain? Uh, or is he just mistreated? But we see here that his own daughter, Jessica, cannot stand him which adds to our idea that perhaps he's, you know, the out-and-out -out villain. And we also get another line of uh, plot in Jessica's speech here. This is essential for uh, a comedy piece, that it has this, you know, numerous storylines. Um, this is the Jessica Lorenzo love storyline. Launcelot says, A Jew, uh, tears exhibit my tongue, most beautiful pagan, most sweet Jew. If a Christian did not play the knave and get thee, I am much deceived. But a Jew, these foolish drops do something drown my manly spirit, a Jew. So Launcelot's saying goodbye, and he's obviously crying. He's saying, my tears show what I want to say. Uh, most beautiful pagan, most sweet Jew. If a Christian doesn't use dishonesty to get you, I'll be very surprised. But goodbye. Uh, these foolish tears make me appear, you know, weak and unmanly, so goodbye. And Jessica says, farewell, good Launcelot, so goodbye. And then uh, Launcelot leaves and Jessica continues talking. Alack, what heinous sin is it in me to be ashamed to be my father's child? But though I am a daughter to his blood, I am not to his manners. O Lorenzo, if thou keep promise, I shall end this strife, become a Christian and thy loving wife. So here, really to the audience, Jessica is now talking, saying, Oh dear, what a terrible sin it is for me to be ashamed to be my father's child. But though I am his daughter by blood, I am not by behaviour. Oh, Lorenzo, if you keep your promise, I will end this hostility and become a Christian and your loving wife. So we learn that there's a, another plot that Lorenzo has promised to marry uh, Jessica, a Jew marrying a Christian, and that Jessica would give up her, her Jewish religion and become a Christian. Um, and I've talked in this video series, if you watch in the playlist, about the context, about how Jews were outlawed in Britain at the time Shakespeare was writing, about how they were villainised and, and sort of seen in almost mythical status as kind of villains. Um, and we see here a scene that, uh, you know, a line that would probably make the audience cheer. Just a quick video because it's just a quick scene. Subscribe to the channel and you'll see the rest soon.